Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ryan Ponce. I'm going to discuss another macro tutorial, and that's editing an existing macro in the Visual Basic Editor. My previous video is about recording and running a simple macro, when we have recorded a macro, and uh, it's going to automatically type in my name and save the macro. I have made some changes on that one. I've saved the file as my first macro. All right. And when you record a macro in Excel, behind the scenes, Excel will be writing the macro code for you. And you can see that here. From Developer tab to Visual Basic, Module 1, and here's the code. So in between your code, or rather, before the code, it should start with a sub. And after your code, it will be the end sub. And sub is short for subroutine. This portion here, this is part of your description. Right when you record a macro, it's going to automatically write in the description here. And this is just considered as notes. So this macro has a shortcut key, which is control shift G. So let me show you what it does. From an active cell, I'm going to press control shift G. It automatically writes my first name and the date today. So let's make some changes. If you want to edit the macro, you have to go to the Developer tab, Visual Basic, or another way would be Developer tab, Macros, and you would see a list of macros here. So if you know the name of your macro, you, you're just going to have to select that and click on Edit. So once you're on your code, you can go ahead and edit it. Uh, most of the codes here are understandable. Um, this is my name. Instead of first name, I'm going to include my last name. And it says another command to put in the today um, formula. Instead of today, I'm going to put now. So it would put the day or the date and the time and the rest. Um, let's say font size will be bigger. Let's make it 16. All right. Let's go ahead and try. I'll select D12. Control Shift G. There you go. So it automatically types in my first and last name and then the formula for today's date and time, but along with my macro code, you would see that after putting in the uh, now formula, it's going to copy it and paste it as values, similar to what we're doing whenever we remove the uh, formula from a cell. So let me show you one more time. F3, Control Shift G. There you go. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more macro tutorials.